Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Bobby Fischer and Alberto Rubinetti. That was played in Palma de Mallorca in 1970. And where is Palma de Mallorca? Palma de Mallorca is the city on the island of Mallorca, Spain. In this game, Bobby Fischer had white pieces and he started with e4. Rubinetti played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4. Knight to c3, defending, e6, Scheveningen structure. Bishop to c4, Sozin Scheveningen. A6. And now this is Neidorf. So is in Neidorf. Black is preventing knight from coming to b5 and also planning b5. So Fischer played bishop to b3. b5. Fischer castled kingside. Bishop to b7. The most popular move in this position is bishop to e7. Bishop to b7 was played. Bishop and knight are attacking pawn on e4. Rook to e1, defending. Knight from b to d7. Bishop to g5, pinning knight. h6. Bishop to h4. And Rubinetti played knight to c5. Sometimes g5 is played and after bishop to g3 knight to e5. But probably black thought that this is risky and he continued with knight to c5. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. If you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that White played in this position. Ready? What did you find? Would you play this? Bishop to d5. Fischer is sacrificing the bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn. Check. And black was considering playing bishop to e7. But this is losing. If bishop to e7, then bishop takes knight. And after pawn takes bishop, knight to f5. And white is winning. So king to d7 was played. b4, attacking knight. Knight to a4. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. And now c4. What is the purpose of this move? c-pawn is defending pawn on d5. And white is preparing to capture pawn on a4 with queen. King to c8, moving black king to a safer spot. Queen takes pawn on a4. Queen to d7. Black would be happy to exchange queens. Queen to b3. g5. Bishop to g3. Knight to h5. Attacking bishop. c5. Threat is c6. Forking bishop and queen. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. And now... Rubinetti captured pawn on d5 with queen and black is threatening. Check mate on g2. If queen takes queen, is that good? If queen takes queen, then bishop takes queen and black is winning. How should white continue? 
what would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you play f3, queen takes queen, for example, or what would happen if f3 is played? Then this is perhaps one of the moves that can be played by black. And after pawn takes knight, then even this is possible. And black is winning. Oh boy, oh boy. How should white continue? Fischer played rook to e8. Check. King to d7. Queen to a4. Check. Bishop to c6. Blocking. Knight takes bishop. And black resigned. Black resigned in view of this continuation. If, for example, now rook takes rook on e8, then knight to b4, check, attacking queen. If king to e6, knight takes on d5. If king takes knight, queen takes rook. On e8. Now going back to move 12. In this position, bishop to d5 was played. Did Fischer calculate everything to the end? What do you think? Probably not. His intuition told him that for a sacrificed bishop, he will get good compensation. Was Fischer really a piece down? If you have a good look, you will see that Fischer had more pieces participating in this game than Rubinetti. Interesting, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.